Well, the rain is moving over the heart of the Bay Area right now. The Golden Gate Bridge, the pavement now wet. The wipers on in San Francisco as well. And we're seeing very windy conditions through a number of places. Right now, 38 mile an hour wind gusts in Half Moon Bay. 35 mile an hour gusts in Oakland. Sustained winds of 30 miles an hour in Oakland right now. 38 mile an hour gusts down in San Jose. 24 in Redwood City. So it is quite windy out there and now it's getting wet. Storm Tracker 4 radar just lit up right now with rain now crossing the heart of the Bay Area right in San Francisco. We're seeing still some moderate cells around Santa Rosa and as we make our way down a little bit further south. Nevada still getting some more moderate downpours as well as San Rafael and now right now in Sausalito the Golden Gate Bridge, San Francisco and the Embarcadero getting some of that heavier rainfall as well as the Bay Bridge getting some lighter showers. This is right in line with Futurecast 4. You see here into the 9 o'clock hour it shows it crossing uh, the Golden Gate Bridge but see it has it coming in kind of at an angle right now the front is nearly north south so it's vertical so you can see this part right here that's offshore and the computer model is bowed into the bay area right now so again it's coming in more north south than what the computer model is showing so we're definitely going to see more rain for the peninsula at 10 o'clock in the evening by midnight now it's more in line with how it looks you can see it covering virtually the entire bay area the two o'clock hour it heads down toward the south there inland valleys and it's going to push into the central valley overnight with it will go the gusty winds, but we're still going to see some spotty showers through the five o'clock hour through the nine o'clock hour tomorrow morning into the afternoon. It will turn a little more isolated and that's the way it's going to stay through the rest of the evening on Wednesday, but you still need the umbrella because we're still going to see a few wayward showers for rainfall totals largely under a half an inch of rain with a couple exceptions up in the North Bay Hills over an inch of rain there up to an inch in the Santa Cruz Mountains and up to three quarters of an inch in the North Bay. As for snow in the Sierra, that's going to kick off tonight as well. The 10 o'clock hour, you can see it's sort of starting really after midnight. It's when it's going to get underway. Still a good distance distinction between the rain and the snow by three in the morning, but then the cold air filters in and it turns to all the snow at the eight o'clock hour. By midnight, we're looking at widespread snow as well, excuse me, by 12 p.m. tomorrow and into the six o'clock hour, the snow continues. It'll start to turn to more showery conditions after six. So look at those snowfall totals over the next few days, up to half a foot of snow expected for tomorrow at lake level, another two to four inches on Thursday with lingering flurries into Friday. A look at your extended forecast here locally rain tonight showery through the rest of the day tomorrow and into Thursday. In fact, very cold temperatures, meaning that we could see snow showers here locally on Thursday down to 3000 feet. We will see improving conditions though into the weekend. And now let's do a quick checkup on your snow bomb ski reports. No new snow to talk about just yet, but that's going to change tomorrow and over the next couple of days. Sierra at Tahoe, 95 at the base, Homewood 68. If you'd like to keep up to date with all the new snow flying in the Sierra, just log on to snowbomb.com.